What are you doing still in bed? You turned off the alarm. I thought I'd have an excuse to call you. Hi. Hi. Uh, listen, there's fresh juice in the refridge. And don't forget your chin-ups. You know, you have to be in shape for your physical. Ah, uh, you slave driver. Hang on. Hey, what's that racket? I'm doing my chin-ups. And don't cheat. Fifteen. Two. And then your isometrics. I can think of a better way to stay in shape. Is that so? Then why did Don Juan die so young? He wasn't a test pilot. Oh, wow. You know, it's a good thing I like egomaniacs. Five. Hey, listen, I gotta run. We're doing a bone graft and ice scrub. Six, bye. Bye. Josh Tower, Fox One. Like to go over to Mission Control. Roger, clear. Consider the chase path to the other runway. Fox One, this is Chase. Clear of runway. Let's go mission frequency. Fox One, up on UHF. Chase is on. Mission Control, how do you read on TM? We hear you fly, buddy. You stay on TM and we'll work Chase on UHF. Fox One. Uh, data on? Roger. Data on. Roger, how's it looking? Getting a bearable. So far, so good. I'm winding up in a steep dive. No problem. Okay, so far. Last 28. Last 25. No problem. It's going to be a lot of altitude loss in this recovery. Yeah, more than we figured. Maybe my rate of entry was a little too fast. Could be I didn't start my recovery soon enough. Old Golden Arms is really doing the job today. You know. Copies of the test data from the file. And call me as soon as he lands. I'll sit in on the debris. Yes, Fox one. Land one F fifteen and chase. Roger, Fox one, Joshua. Landing runway two two. Oh, just a moment, please. Just in time, sir. It's for you, your ex-wife. Thank you. You just came in, Mrs. Agajanian. Good morning, Janet. Joe, is Tracy there with you? No. She's missing. When I went to wake her up for school, I found her bed empty and some of her things are gone. H have you notified the police? Well, I didn't know what to do, so I called you first. Well, you better report her missing and let me know the minute you hear anything. Well, she's never done anything like this before and I'm scared. Hey, Janet, whatever happens, it's not your fault. I try not to worry. You'll see it's going to be okay. Thanks, Joe. And what ex-husband's for? Jill, the minute my ex-wife calls, interrupt whatever I'm doing. Like you doing all my stuff out here. Don't you know how dangerous that is? Thumbing on a desert road? Hop on, I'll take you to wherever. Yeah, that's okay. I'm too riding double on a cycle. Fine, you'll like it. Hey, I don't want to. Come on. All the pretty little foxes do. How much fun it is. Get on the bike. Hey, man. Let go. 
go, go, okay? Hey, man, she's my old lady. I do what I want with her. No, she's not! A stud like you doesn't need to rob the cradle. Take a hike, little boy blue, before I bust it. Hey, is this your bike? What? Dual pipes. <laughs> I bet you really kick over. Come on, come in the truck, come on. Desert rat on his bike tried to put the move on her. I'm okay. Just yeah. let me go. No, 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 no. Not until you sample some of the best child this side of paradise. I'm late for work. Jimbo Garner's flying test. And if I'm not there to give his baby your daily dose of TLC, he gets up tight. Donnie Burkle, uh, I'd like you to meet Tracy, uh, whatever your name is. Uh, best damn mechanic in the Air Force, next to me. Check you later. He don't talk much, does he? Hey, um, you hungry? Yeah. Sure, yeah, it sure turns out some great chow, doesn't you, Tracy? Mm, it's delicious. Mm-hmm. It's your lacquer. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Hey, uh, maybe now you'll tell us uh, where your folks are so we can give them a call and get you back home. Thanks again. But I can make it from here. Tracy, I think you should listen to what he's saying. Vietnam, here, all safe. Young girl run away, go to air base because young men there. Some good, like my husband, but some bad. Hey, I like that biker. Now they just cruise around here looking for strays, you know. <laughs> Look, I'm no stray. I'm an Air Force brat. The dentist always... <laughs> Tracy. Oh, Tracy. Tracy, your mom called me first thing this morning. You know, she is worried to death about you. How in the world did you get here? Well... I don't want to talk about it right now. But, Daddy, I'm not going back. I want to move in with you. I can't live with her anymore. Okay, Trace, we'll rap about that later. Right now, I want you to thank the Burkles, and I'm going to call your mom and tell her that you're okay. Herman, may I use your phone? Certainly, sir. Your wife? I don't want to hurt her, Lisa, you know? Should have thought of that before, Jimbo. Too late now. Good night, Dad. See you tomorrow. I called your nightline. I didn't want to leave Ricky. So I called the office and uh, wanted to ask you if you'd bring home some medicine from the dispensary. The sergeant said you weren't in your office all night. I was working in the hangar tonight, checking the ejection bolts for the 104 on fly tomorrow. Remember Max Palmer? Great way for your hair to turn white if you decide you want out and that canopy won't blow. I'm tired of being alone, Jim. 
And you weren't checking ejection bolts tonight. Oh, Brad. Look, it's hard enough not knowing when you leave whether you're going to come back alive or not. But this... Jim, until we have a look at the data. Why don't you bring it on in? The yellow 
up, Joe. Josh Tower, short final, three down and locked. Rod, recheck your gear. Clear the landing. Rod, come for landing. Box one, call clear of the runway. I've got one for takeoff. Hey, feels like my left wheel's dragging. I lost my brakes. Gonna take the barrier. <laughs> Dark is a fight. Nineteen ninety four. I can't run. I take this and no more. Excuse me. I, I put back. Why do that? I'll lend you five. That's what friends are for. Thank you. I do not need... A little gift to show you how sorry I am about that trouble the other night. What do you say? Huh? No, please. Then I'll give you a hand with these. No, please. Please. Please, I will take now. Go open the door, will you? You don't have to be afraid. I had a couple of drinks the other night. Maybe I spoke out of turn. But I can be very nice, too. Why don't you try me? Please, I have to go. You're having problems making ends meet, aren't you? My company does business here. I know the manager. I can get you a job. Stock girl, checker, whatever. Think about it. You want to help your old man out by making a little extra on the side? You just whistle. Sergeant, Colonel Agajanian has decided to complete the spin test phase of the program himself. You ought to put on a temporary night shift to expedite maintenance. Yes, ma'am. Send us the new schedule tomorrow morning. There's a preliminary briefing at 1100, and I want you to be on time. Oh, I wouldn't have it any other way, ma'am. to be married to Lieutenant Iron Pants. <laughs> Would she ever make you snap to? Oh, I don't know. Get her out of that uniform, old boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. And you're just the right man to do it, huh? Hey, not me. I'm a married man. Besides, I was in combat around women. Oh. 
my heart used to pound like a drum. She'd say, hello there, darling. It's a little old Saigon bar girl. Crazy thing is, as soon as I saw Tu Yet, I wasn't scared at all. It was like she was waiting for me. From that moment on, for the first time in my life, I was number one. Hey, Burko, your wife's outside. Hey, I forgot. She took the van today to go shop. Catch you later. All right. Hey, where do you see the surprise I got for her birthday? just finally burned out. Food will spoil. Oh, Donnie, what we do? Just grin and bear it, darling. In every life, a little rain must fall. Not funny. Hey, what's got you so upset? Yeah, I'm sorry, okay? How about a smile? Oh, really? In that case, then I think we ought to head to the bedroom and do a little discussion about this. Yes, I know. Put me down, Donnie. Put me down, Donnie. It's so important, isn't it? Right. Now listen up to yet. Things are going to change. Now, if I can hold on just a little while longer, we'll have enough money saved up. We'll be able to put a down payment on that little piece of land back in Oklahoma. Now, wouldn't that make you happy? No more tears. Yeah, it smiles hiding in there somewhere, isn't it? Where? There you go. That devil taking defrosted food and busted refrigerators. I got you. kept you on the rack so long, Mrs. Gardner. I have to be honest with you. Now that we've completed the myelogram, it doesn't look good. He's going to be paralyzed. I'm afraid so. Our home, remember? Mm. Now, do you have your orders? Yes, ma'am. Three hours sleep. At least. Don't you dare show your face in that office before ten. Anything else? Yes. Yeah. What's that? The most important thing. Hmm? Kiss me good morning. <sighs> It's about time you met her. What are you doing up so early? Oh, uh, well, I, I thought you'd been at the hospital all night. So you'd be hungry. Oh, Miss Kathy Wood, my daughter Tracy. Hello, Tracy. 
try it. Mmm, what's that delicious smell? Homemade cinnamon buns. Like my mama used to make, huh, Daddy? Hey, what do we got here? Oh, marzipan. Yeah, I made it for you last night. Well, I thought you were going to help me stay in shape. Oh, you're in great shape. Well, I won't be if you keep giving me candy and gourmet pastries at dawn. I think I'll give this to my chief mechanic. He's got a sweet tooth. And uh, Kathy will help us polish off those cinnamon buns by staying for breakfast. Well, I only made enough for two. Oh, I uh, think I'd better go. No, 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 no. You stay. Let me handle this. Hold this. That was damn rude. But she is a guest in this house, Tracy. Dad, why do you think I got up so early? It's the only time we could get to talk. <laughs> you sound like your mother. Now you know what she had to live with all these years. I know how rough the divorce has been on you, sweetheart. And I wish I could just wave a magic wand and we'd all be back together again, but I can't. You see how it is, the isolation, the pressures. You can't blame your mom for not wanting this kind of life. So what are you trying to tell me? Well, it's been nearly two years. Your mother has a right to start a new life, too. Well, I'm not going back! You're being selfish. Your mother needs you, honey. Well, she has her friend. Tracy, you're not being very fair to her. I have a special friend, too. And you are her daughter. There's no substitute for that. I'm your daughter, too. Tracy, you see the way I live. I'm always in and out. I couldn't possibly raise you properly. You're a young, growing girl. You need a mother. You don't want me? Of course I do. You want to be alone with your pretty nurse. I love you, Tracy. I want you to be with me as much as you can. But your mother really needs you. Yeah, well, I don't need her. And I don't need you either. Tracy. Let her go, Kat. But Joe. Won't do any good to drag her back. I know Tracy. I just hope she realizes she's wrong and comes back in the wrong. But what if she doesn't? Hey, Don! Hey, what's the matter? What do you mean? Well, where is it today? Where's what? <laughs> that big oaky smile. You haven't said two words to me. Here, you want some candy? Have some candy. Turn like a Jenny and give it to me. No, I don't want any candy. Well, something's wrong. What is it? I just don't feel like talking now. Is there anything the matter with that? I know what you've been going through with your old man. It's like you're between a rock and a hard place. Huh. See, you got me talking, Oki. I'd like to help. I don't need no...